It's early morning in La Germano, and the art centre bus is doing what it does every day, picking up its star painters. This is Lily Nungarai, a Walpri elder. She's almost 80, but no one's really sure. This morning, Lily is doing what she does every morning, catching a ride to work. It's a daily routine, picking up the artists taking them up to the art centre, or they might be want to be dropped at the shop on the way up. And it's their van, it belongs to them. The store gave it to them. Lily lives in La Germanu, a remote community of about 1,000 people smack bang in the heart of Australia, on the edge of the Tanami Desert. Established as a welfare settlement in the late 40s, and formerly known as Hooker Creek, the Walpuri first arrived here in the early 50s, on the back of a truck from Uendamu in the south. <laughs> Today, this fiercely traditional community is using art to maintain our culture and to build a viable business. Good morning. Good morning, And the Wadiyaka Arts and Cultural Centre, a local community initiative, is the driving force in creating this thriving cultural and economic hub. Each morning, the men and women gather at the art centre to listen to elders like Jerry. Germany, this one too. Same thing, big one. And also artists like Lily tell their ancient stories to the young ones. Even though school's out today, here at the art centre, the teaching never stops. <laughs> This is one of the key things that the elders want to happen in the community, is they're really concerned about culture passing from the older people down to the younger people like this. So this is one of the key directives from the board that I have. The people of this community started feeling that our centre is important to everyone here in, our, in the community. Peter's right. When famous artists like Jerry Patrick Jungler share their sacred stories, the young men are all ears. It's a holistic approach at Waniaka. A painting one day is a shared bush experience the next. <laughs> Just like his father taught him, it's now Jerry's turn to pass on the sacred knowledge. <laughs> The other benefit of having the children here is they see their people working, so they see the role models of the staff working, they see the old people working, and that's probably one of the most lasting memories that any of the kids will have in this community is. It's hard not to be affected by the ancient energies filling this room. Just thinking about how hard they work. And that's exactly what Jerry's hoping this young mob will do. Use the knowledge he's giving them 
to build a strong future. A local initiative that's preserving culture and making it fun. As well as being a place to pay, Warniaka provides regular employment for some of the mob in Laja Manu. We have four funded positions and then uh, if any of them have a bit of time off, well then we can fill up with casuals there. So any spare funding that we have or um, spare money that comes in from sales of art, we like to put on as many people as we can. There's always a lot to do here. But for myself, I like working at Art Centre. I like working with old people too. They're telling, telling me stories too. But my grandfather and my father's Recording our culture is a primary aim. The cataloguing is really important. It's a record of all the work done here, and it means that purchasers, they know that we have a database here that, that's maintained, um, and the staff will do all that. Because of this, the Wanayaka Art Centre is now a solid business model, providing a steady source of income for artists. When we sell artwork, a portion of it, the greater portion actually goes to the artists and, and they pay us a commission. We use that for wages, paints, for running the business. The majority of their portion are they use to support their families. It's a local initiative based on a simple philosophy. Don't be shy. Just continue improving so you will become a more prouder person in your community.